Hello everyone, welcome. Today is a really nice warming yoga style series uh, to get you feeling really good, something opening. So we'll start with a nice big deep inhale, feeling and opening, exhaling forward bend. Nice big deep inhale to halfway, and then coming all the way down, downward facing dog. Starting to breathe, getting into the body, feeling, lifting the leg high, opening the hip. Nice, big, beautiful breaths here. Strong core, strong arm, strong back. Remembering to always move at your pace uh, with what you can do. So even if you're watching these videos at home and you're mimicking or you're following along, making sure to move at your pace, okay? And opposite leg opening. We'll start with a gate pose. So I place my right knee on the mat and open up um, nice and, and nice and deep. Opening up the heart and the chest and let this feel good. Let it feel good on your throat and on your neck. Opposite side, left knee is down on the mat, right arm is up, opening and creating space. This feels so good on the shoulders and the chest. I love that. I almost always include a gate pose in my sequences. Now we're going to take it slow. So onto the knees first, lower down into baby cobra. And obviously you could always take it at your pace. So those can be upward facing dogs. And we'll just fold forward, inhale upward all the way. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, open and create space. Feet pressing into the earth. I love this here. So elbows go out side to side. Palms and hands are really open. So even the hands are getting openness here. And then open the arms all the way out. And you're sending the shoulders down and away and you're opening the chest. Feet are pressing deeply down into the earth. You're lifting up out of the hip sockets and you're really opening everything. As you can see, I'm... Uh, Practicing with the sunrise here. So these are all good opening. Heart opener, neck opener, roll the neck. Let it feel good. The neck does so much for us. So really giving your neck that love here. Really opening up, moving the jaw, getting into the spaces. And I like this. This is kind of kundalini-ish, right? We're going to put our hands on the chest and we're just going to go side to side. Hips are going to stay as square as possible. So you're really only moving the upper body. Also good for the core. So you're already engaging the core. Belly button moves back. I inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And I'm inhaling and exhaling through my nose right now. You can do it through the mouth if you'd like. Really moving side to side. So we're just getting right into it, feeling into the body. Feet are planted deep into the earth. Hips are square. Belly button just keeps retracting back with every exhale. Twist and twist. Very nice. Nice big deep inhale. Opening in the heart and chest. Exhale forward bend. That'll feel really good. Inhale halfway. Working back to your downward facing dog. High plank, belly button in, exhale, lower down chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, very nice. You're just feeling into it, right? It's bright and early, getting into the body, working right into a lunge, left foot is forward, sink into the hips, keep it mobile, that's something I love to do, move with the body, move with what feels good. Little baby twist here, opening the back body, opening the spine, right? Good morning, good morning yoga, right? Moving side to side here, starting to feel into that hamstring a little bit, right? Starting to feel into the knees and the hip socket and the ankles, right? Really getting the body going here. And then coming up over that leg for a nice deep hamstring stretch. Downward facing dog, opposite side, knees down. Same thing on this side, keep it mobile, keep it moving, rock side to side, right? You're just opening and creating space for this morning routine, right? That's it. Mostly just a yoga routine here. I keep my yoga very fluid. I have my own practice and for my uh, clients, I, I, I'm always working to help you achieve 
your own practice, right? What feels good to you? Because you know, your inner knowingness is going to tell you how to move, when to move, what you need. uh, And that's the best practice if you ask me. All right, once again, keep unfolding. We're rolling the shoulders. We're opening the heart and chest. We're rolling the wrists. We're feeling into the body. We're taking the shoulders the other way, right? Really nice, big rounding in the shoulders. Feeling the shoulders, feeling the neck. Opening in the wrists, opening in the fingers, rolling in the ankles, right? This is an awesome morning practice, right? We just want to get it all moving. This is my favorite. Shake it out. Shake it out through the fingers. Shake it out through the wrists, right? We moved a little already. We've got it coming down. I like to pull on my fingers. Imagine anything that I don't need. Letting go, leaving the body. Same with the feet as I shake it out of the feet. Very nice. This is more of like a Qigong style move. Um, It's a nice big inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Very nice, right? You're just really grounding the body. You're really jolting the body. Anything that you don't need, out, out, out with that. Same thing, shoulder rolls, now opening with the arm circles, same thing, moving them back, moving them forward, moving them side to side, really opening the shoulders there. Sometimes we get that like, like toxic stuff that sits in our upper back. Now slow it back down, nice big deep inhale. Exhale to heart center. So we moved a lot of stuff right there. We're just opening and breathing exhaling coming all the way down one more like that inhale and exhale very nice grounding into that space inhale up exhale forward bend inhale halfway exhale step it back to high plank Nice, strong plank here, getting in the abdominal core. So we're activating the abdominals. If you're watching my channel or if you've taken my classes or if you've worked with me before, I'm a big, strong believer in activating that core, getting that core strength. It's not just for a nice six pack, although that's a nice uh, plus, but it's for our confidence. It's for our strength, right? It supports us. It supports our spine. Downward facing dog, back to the high plank. Engaging with the core, engaging with the entire body. I love to do planks. I just love to hold planks. I I believe in them. I know that they make my body strong. I feel strong after doing them. Uh, So we're just activating the core here. We're going to open up into a really nice stretch, right? That left foot, you can't see it. It's still on the ground. We just send that right foot up and over. Same thing on the other side. Just a little deeper gait pose, right? Just creating space and opening up, letting it feel really good. And then right back to center. We're going to work into a back bend. So hands go behind the back and I'll change it up a little bit here. You're welcome to place the hands on to the low back or you can place them onto the heels. Uh, We're creating space and opening up. Right now, I've got the shoulders open. I'm creating a little bit of space in my neck, and then I'm finding that deep, strong back bend, opening in the heart and chest. So we said an opening series, the sun is rising above us. We're really getting into the heart space, into the heart zone, breathing deeply here, feeling the breath, right? Holding this pose with breath, with deep, Breath is so, so, so good. I love that. Very nice. And just a little opposite stretch, like a little bit of relaxation. So sitting in a nice posture to feel all that openness, to engage with the spine, to let the spine come back to that center, to that uh, center of gravity, to that, that openness and enjoy that space there. Very nice. Breathing through the nose, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. Here, I'm adding little breath exercise. So as you see, I open my mouth, that's the exhale. I'm inhaling and holding the breath. And anything in the body that does not serve me, I'm bringing attention, I'm giving it an identity. And then I open up and exhale anything out. 
Uh, it's going to depend on your ability to hold your breath. So you can decide here how you feel. I hold it until I start to feel that little bit of tightness and, and I can feel it all kind of come together and then I open the mouth wide and I let it out and you can do this I, this is a practice I do all the time I do it in all different cases uh, it's so healing if you have pain in the body um, you inhale into that pain and you hold it and then you exhale here just continuing to move the energy a little bit more really focusing on the lymphatic system and moving things through the body uh, for me in this practice here this morning. And that is what I have for you today. Enjoy that. Maybe sit in meditation for a little bit after that uh, and have a beautiful day.